Good morning, holy comforters, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever it is you're opening this uh, message. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at church, in person, or on Zoom or Facebook, because I think we will have church tomorrow. My weather report says, anyway, that tomorrow morning should be partly cloudy, not raining, as it might have said earlier in the week. So let's give it a try. You that have signed up for in-person services, come on down and park in the parking lot nearest the Great Hall. Because we think we found a good spot uh, alongside that parking lot with that row of trees to keep us in steady, dependable shade and maybe from a sprinkling or two if need be. The rest of you, we'll see you on Zoom and Facebook. God bless you and I appreciate your faithfulness. Speaking of faithfulness, one of the things about not meeting in person, being away from the parish church building for so long, is so many of you that are faithful in weekly deposit of uh, contributions on Sunday morning haven't been able to. You know, you, you like that in-person uh, experience of putting something concrete, physical, tangible in the offering plate and that concrete tangible offering going forward to be blessed at the altar. I get that, and I miss that. But, you know, there's a few people who, for whom that's such a dependable habit that you've been holding back and waiting for a chance to come to church in person and put it in that offering uh, bowl. Well, we've got a box for you now, so we look forward to seeing you at church and making that uh, offering. The other thing that's happened after all these months six months almost now of being away from our church is that the regular users of our facility that have made contributions for those uses also haven't been able to meet um, at the church and therefore are unable to make those contributions that they have gladly made uh, over these six months. So there's a bit of a hole in our budget. It's not great, it's not awful, but it's there and it's having some impact on our concerns for next year. And as we put our stewardship plan together, um, the numbers we're putting in different slots uh, for our budget. And unfortunately, with those uh, parts of the budget that's not being met by building use and regular Sunday contributions, the pledge offer that we're going to ask from all of you will be slightly higher this year than last. Give it some prayer, give it some thought, and see if you can't find a way uh, to make up some of that difference uh, by your pledge contribution this year. So that's, that's all of that. Moving on, please look carefully at the very long message attached to this uh, video. Uh, below all the print stuff that comes out in weekly words holy cats and cows are we offering a lot of programming and I need you to look at it carefully and at great length because if I try to tell you now what's on that list we could be here for 20 minutes that's how rich the menu of programming is this year and to access some of that programming some of the um, changes we've had to make to communications We've had to become comfortable with Realm. We have to be comfortable with uh, Constant Contact. We have to be comfortable with YouTube. We have to become comfortable with Facebook. God, what a pain. What a pain. How come we can't just have what we used to have the way we used to have it? The Garden of Eden is closed, ladies and gentlemen, and there is a flaming sword between us and that. So, rather than looking back to what we used to have, let's look forward to what we are building together. Because that, that phrase that's going around so much, that we're all in this together, boy, that's the truth. And we want every one of you to be in it together. We don't want to leave anyone out. We don't want to leave anyone, anyone behind. We don't want to overlook, neglect uh, anyone. So, yeah, do be in touch with me. Let me know what I might ask of the staff. Uh, let's go to me, though. Let's not go to the staff. Let's be in touch, and I'll talk to the persons I think might be best able to um, help you with what it is 
isn't happening yet for you. Boy, I love this church. I love this parish. I love the town of Burlington. Uh, I've been in and out of Burlington a little more than maybe I've made you aware of, but uh, I've been in office a couple times each week, and uh, I'll be there a lot more in the coming weeks. So if you want to rendezvous with me, let's make a date. Call me up, email me, text me. Let's get together. But let's get together and stay together and go together into the future that God is building and opening for us today. So tomorrow, Sunday, let's gather in praise and worship and relief and accept this love that God is ever showering upon us. And let's find ways to take off the raincoats and take down the umbrellas that we're, by human nature, putting up and putting on that prevents that grace from soaking into us and cleansing us and washing us and nourishing us. No, I'm excited about this church. I'm excited about our mission. I'm excited about our future. And I'm excited about it because we have so many people that have stepped forward in these difficult times to make it so much less difficult than I'm hearing from my peers and cohorts and companions on this mission that they're going through. So God bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Read everything in the weekly words that came out and see what speaks to you to enjoy and to contribute to. Well, until tomorrow, God bless. Stay safe, stay strong. We'll be in touch.